Hi, my name is Brandon Gray. I am the product support engineer for SystemLink. And today I wanted to take some time to talk about the differences between charts and graphs within the Dashboard Builder. So for this demo, I'll be creating a new dashboard and we'll just call it charts versus graphs. So when you're working with Dashboard Builder and you're using some UI element that you haven't used before and you're not really sure what data type it takes, a great place to start is the system link manual. And so you can get to the system link manual by clicking the question mark in the upper right hand corner. Uh, once that's open, the data types for visualizing tag data contains a table that actually contains all of the different indicators and controls, it specifies the tag data type that it accepts as well as the format that it accepts. And so here we actually see an entry for graph and chart. The graph it lists as taking a string representing a JSON array of numbers and a chart it accepts a data type of double. So now that we know the data type that both of these accept, we can actually move on to using them. So as it mentioned, the chart accepts a double and it accepts one point. And so what that does is it actually takes your value that you give it and it will append it to the current plot. And so what this does is this kind of allows you to take different tags without the be doubles and integers and actually will in real time graph out kind of the trend of that tag as it gets new data. And so the graph on the other hand, it takes the entire data set stored within a string. So like I said, it takes a string representing a JSON array of numbers and it will take that entire array and plot it. And so this is better used for when you have an entire data set and you just want to display that data set. It isn't actively changing, but more of along the lines, it's all the data has been collected and now I want to display it. And so real quick, we'll go through creating both of these to kind of give you an idea of how to set those up. So we'll drop a chart down. We'll also drop a graph down. The chart and the graph aesthetically are pretty similar. Like we said, the main difference is the data types that they accept. They both have all of the same properties. So they both have X and Y axis properties as well as plot properties. And so I also wanted to talk, take a second to talk about the plot and how to set up the different plots. And so for this demo, I've created a couple different tags. I've created three tags that are double tags that are going to be updated with a sine wave. And I've also created one tag that I'll be using with my graph. That's actually a string tag that will contain an entire sine wave within its array, so it will display the entire sine wave. So let's go ahead and start configuring these two. So first we have the chart, and in order to create plots, we'll use this plots area down here. We'll go ahead and use plot one. Instead of plot one, we'll call it chart test, and the value we are going to bind to the chart test tag. And then if you want to add additional plots, you do so in this area as well. Just click the plus sign, and then go ahead and add your Next tag, and so for the next one will be chart test two and bind it to chart test two. And then one more, we'll do chart test three. Bind it to chart test three. So now we have three plots on that one chart indicator. And now we'll go ahead and configure the graph indicator. And so for this one, we only have one tag and we're going to call it graph test and bind it to graph test. Also for this demo, I created a quick VI using the skyline data services that periodically update the tags. I'm going to use that to show how the tags will update based on the indicator type that we've selected. I'll go ahead and start my VI. And now that I know that my tags are being updated, I'll save my dashboard and go ahead and play it. And so what we see, we see the top one, which is the chart, it's plotting points one at a time as they come in for the three different tags. And in the bottom graph, the VI is actually providing a new sine wave every three seconds. So we see that updating. So I hope this was helpful in kind of getting you familiar with the different indicators for um, plotting tags and plotting data on dashboards. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.